Did you hear the word elasticity or horizontal scaling before? Well, on premises when your resources are stressed and become overutilized, usually we solve this by scaling up our resources, like increasing the memory or adding more storage. This is known as vertical scaling with scale up and scale down operations. The question is can I do the same in the cloud? Well, you can, but this is not a cloud native approach. In the cloud, we horizontally scale instead. We add or remove resources in parallel, or what is known as scale out and scale in. Your resources in the cloud become elastic based on the demand rate. Let's see the service that can help us with that. Auto Scaling Group is another compute service from AWS to help you achieve elasticity and apply horizontal scaling. The demand or load for this workload currently is being served by a group of three identical servers. Right now, everything is under control. But load can change over time. As you can see now, the load has increased. The total combined compute power offered by the three servers is unable to match the load. We need to take action quickly before my customers start suffering from performance degradation. ASG is here to rescue the situation. ASG will dynamically start creating other identical instances to increase the overall available computing power to cope with this spike in demand. We are back in control. The spike is over, and now the load drops. I am not afraid now of any sort of performance degradation. Actually, my combined computing power is much more than what I need. Can you think now of what is the new challenge? Cost control. Remember this quote, I would keep repeating it multiple times throughout the training. It is a bad practice for idle resources to feature on your cloud bill. You have to reduce waste and stop idle resources and stop paying for them. And here ASG comes to rescue us again. As it helped us to scale out, ASG can also start removing the extra resources and decommissioning any extra instances I no longer need. Impressive, isn't it? To create an ASG, you need to specify some parameters. First, you need to define your launch template. This is going to be the template used for launching dynamically all of the EC2 instances belonging to the ASG. Second, you need to define the desired number of instances who are members of the group, what would the minimum number of instances that you cannot go less than them and what is the maximum number of instances that you cannot exceed. Last, when shall we grow or shrink the number of instances in the group? You need to define the scaling policies, the scale-out policy, and the scale-in policy. You need to know as well about an ASG feature, which is health checks. ASG frequently sends health checks to every member of the group, who must respond back to them. If a member fails to respond to a number of these health checks, it will be considered down by the ASG. It will be decommissioned and removed from the group, then ASG will replace it with a new healthy and fresh instance. 